Welcome to the water well pressure switch installation. After turning off the booster pump at the breaker, you may continue remote to, con to remove the uh, wiring from the switch box. Make sure to remove the ground wire and the conduit attached to the box. Don't worry so much about the wiring. It's just the power and input and then an output and of course your ground. Uh, but it's like any other switch. Remove the conduit, set it aside. And before you actually remove the, the pressure switch or the uh, gauge, uh, check on the pressure. And if there is any pressure, you may want to open a faucet and release all that pressure before you remove anything. Uh, doing so will probably cause... Uh, the water pressure to hit your face or get all the electrical wiring wet. Once you have checked your pressure, go ahead and open the faucet and release all that pressure before you remove anything. Make sure the pressure is completely gone and there's no pressure at all before you actually remove anything. Whether you're doing a job for yourself or a job for somebody else, you may end up bumping into a few problems. Now, on here, we have to actually remove the sticky roofing tape that they put on here to actually prevent the ants and spiders from going in here. Not that it actually worked, because they kept getting in there and they kept getting fried by the electrical. Now, you may remove the uh, pressure switch. Uh, make sure to compare the uh, new pressure switch with the old pressure switch. Turn it around and make sure that the connection is the same. Now, if you look at these, they're completely different. One has a female connection. The other one has a male, con a male connection. Now, the old one that has the male connection, you want to remove that. The plate is exactly the same size with the same amount of screws and it'll fit perfectly with that same connection. So remove the old one and put it on the new one along with the new gasket that it already has on there. Okay, it's time to install the gauge. Make sure that you put some Teflon on the thread that way we don't have any leaks later or you don't have any leaks. Well, we have our gauge installed. Now it's time to install the pressure switch. We have ours ready, so this one's ready, and the uh, plate, the old plate was removed from the old one, put on the new one, and we're ready to install it. Let's go ahead and install this one, and start putting the wiring, the conduit. Here we got our gauge, and we got our pressure switch uh, ready installed. Uh, the pressure seems to be accumulating up to 45 PSI. So now, these are the uh, factory settings that it comes with. Let's go ahead and drain the uh, pressure, drain some water, and uh, lower the pressure and see at what PSI it actually starts lower again. Well, it seems like the pressure is dropping, so we want to make sure that it restarts anywhere between 20 and 30 PSI. Uh, that way uh, it doesn't actually get too, too low. So looks like it's doing pretty good so far. Well, the pressure seems to be dropping fine. It's still pretty good. Uh, it's still going down. We want to keep it between 20 and 30. We don't want it to get too low. Make sure to always keep it between 20 and 30. So far, the pressure is pretty good. And, uh, well, there it is. That's what we wanted to see.